Yo, this is Pac Div. I'm Big Mibs. I'm like, yo, it's B Young. Giving a shout out to GoodfellaMedia.com. What's poppin'? Last time I seen you guys was a while back. We were, yo, we're doing the in the Converse joint, the little mm -hmm. tournament. Mm -hmm. Took the tough loss to Jimmy and them. <laughs> you know what I mean? I heard you guys are still looking for a rematch on that. Oh yeah, man. In, Under better time, time, man. You know, well rested. Uh, you know, watching uh, Michael Jordan's playground the night before. Oh, really? <laughs> What what happened? You guys came straight from the plane off that one, huh? Yeah, straight from yeah. the airport. We we flew in from Miami, working with Pharrell. Mm -hmm. Didn't even get time to check into the rooms. We had to go straight up to the to the gym to play. All right, so, who do you want to ball against in the industry? I want to ball against Jay Z. I heard he a lefty. I want to move against him and see if he really got game. He's about six two. Yeah, he's pretty tall. Take, I'll take him to the rack though. <laughs> uh, Brian McKnight. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why do you want to ball against Brian McKnight? Because uh, he's been in all the celebrity games since I can remember. True. And the nigga's pretty tall, so he has to be decent. Prince. <laughs> because of Charlie Murphy? Nah, you know, I just heard he's nice. He plays high school ball. Yo, I, he's a perfectionist. You know he's got a... He, if he can master the, the instruments, he can master the jump shot. He Maybe. really played high school ball? Yeah. Oh, wow. You think he would have a nice swim shot? Is that he just glides around yeah, everywhere? Yeah. Probably silky. Oh, he, he's got to be mad elusive playing ball and shit. Yeah. He probably got handle or something, right? Yeah, he real crafty. The only nigga on the court with a bob. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I wouldn't think he moved that quick though. He wouldn't have to. He's poised. He has a poised game. <laughs> yeah. He's always in control. <laughs> album is pretty much done. Like, I mean, we have we have a lot of other songs that we we working on. Like, that's non-album stuff that you know that well, could make the album. We could replace some songs. Like, we can you know we can do a lot. Well, the funny thing is, I was gonna ask: Are, are we gonna see another tape or two before the album actually drops? <laughs> I'd be surprised if anything. We won't yeah. announce it. We'll just drop it. So okay. then that's. Most likely gonna happen. I just want to make sure I got that on record. Like, this probably yeah, man, you don't know what happen. tomorrow holds, man. You yeah. definitely getting something. Yeah, no, because I mean I know you got like I just know pretty much how it works, and you know you're getting on the label. You want to make sure everything's right. It might be gonna be a little bit of time, and you guys are traveling a lot. I mean, yeah, you guys, you, said you guys are out of here. What the next day? Yeah, and that, to the next spot. Yeah. You know the the climate of the industry changes so often, man. That you just gotta you know you gotta fill it out as you go. You can say what you want to do. Mm -hmm. But you know, things don't always go exactly how you want them to go. So you just gotta stay on your P's and Q's until your time is there. You know, we always kind of moved on destiny with our projects. We know we like to do what we want to do, but it always come out when it's supposed to. You guys, like, I feel like there's gotta be a lot of different types of people coming to the shows. I mean, you and Mike and Dro, you know, you guys are all together. That's three completely different, like, listener bases yeah. coming to those shows. How do you, how do you, um, you know, how do the people react to you? Maybe the people that never heard of you before and stuff like that. How do they take the music? And, you know, how do you like going to see all these different types of people coming out to these shows? Well, um, shoot, most of the time, you know, people are just pay attention. They just look, you know, they just pay. If they ain't never heard us, you know, they'll just sit there and, like, they'll stare at it. But we got their attention, though. Like, they won't go anywhere else. And, um... It's pretty much successful, man. You got the diehard fans and you got the people who, you know, who don't know. But they end up fans at the end of the day too. Yeah, they end up just listening. So most of the times when they when they just standing there looking, they locked in listening. As long as they ain't on their phone or talking about how whack you is, you good. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are a group, a rap group and like a legit spitting rap group. It's just been a while since you've seen one a label invest time into a group of rappers, you know what I mean, and not trying to single one of you guys out to, to make you a solo artist, you know what I'm saying? So I mean, when you look at the whole future for Pac Div, I mean, where do you where do you think and where do you think the label sees you guys <coughs> rap group actually becoming successful in a major way? Well, I mean, no disrespect to the label, like we Pac Div regardless. If we if we label or not, like we rolling. Mm -hmm. Um, I think they expect the best out of it. They expect, you know, us to be, you know, as big as we want to be. They want us to be, you know, end up actors, you know, at the end of the day, you know, just break, breaking in, you know, just being popular, just being popular people. Because, I mean, with the time, it's going to come the success and everything, and, and you know the negatives and the pitfalls, like, it's more of, I guess I'm looking more of how are you guys going to be able to keep this together? 
you know what I mean, and, and have that longevity that you see in like the locks. You know what I mean? I'd say the locks because you guys are three, mm -hmm. so I think it'd be the best comparison. And you don't see a lot of groups last as long as they have sticking mm -hmm. together as right. a team, Definitely. even if they're doing their own solo thing. So locks. how do you guys plan to, you know, kind of do that within yourselves? They lost so. Okay, well, De La Soul also, absolutely. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah both of those, the Locks and De La Soul, they're two, you know, remarkable names. They always mm -hmm. kept the integrity and the quality of their brand, whether it was the Locks' brand, which is totally different from Tribes, but they always maintain both their individual respective, you exactly. know, things. So people always associate them with that. They know they ain't gonna go to the Locks and get no bullshit. They ain't gonna go to Tribe and get no bullshit that they mm -hmm. ain't expecting. <laughs> it's always on point. Yeah. So as long as we keep the you know the ingredients in Pac Div, it's always gonna be that. Church League was more raw and just how you know, like when you get older, you start to see you know just things change you know. And Church League, I believe that was a really timeless piece of music, but at the same time, it spoke you know like mm -hmm. that's how we felt at the time. We still feel that way in, in a sense, but it's just like we already talked about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. so that's what it was. And um, the sound, as far as the sound goes, I just think uh, Mania is just a bigger sounding, you know, more e easier on the ears. Like, younger people can listen to it and older people, so it, it hits, you know, a broad, fan, a broad base. Charlie.